trouble for Bubba Wallace and Denny Hamlin is furious. Insane Bubba Wallace nearly killed Kyle Larson at the previous NASCAR race in Las Vegas, when he deliberately rear-ended him for no reason. This carelessness infuriated Larson to no end, but he refrained from challenging Wallace to a fight on the racetrack, opting instead for a confrontation more reminiscent of a boxing ring. Larson wasn't the only famous driver to criticize Wallace. Many others shared Larson's outrage at Bubba's reckless behavior and his refusal to accept responsibility. The majority of drivers believe NASCAR should have given Wallace a much longer suspension than one race and have demanded that the organization do so. Do you want to know what drivers like Denny Hamlin, Joey Logano, and Daniel Suarez said about the suspended Wallace and what kind of warnings they issued? Welcome back to NASCAR Zone. Let's talk about the matter in detail. Before getting in the race, hit that red button before starting the race of the video. NASCAR has decided to suspend Bubba Wallace for one race after an inquiry concluded that he engaged in a dangerous act of retaliation by intentionally spinning the defending cup champion Kyle Larson at Las Vegas. After the incident, Bubba Wallace confronted Kyle Larson after the fact. After the incident that occurred on Sunday in Las Vegas, Wallace got into a shove-off with Larson and even pushed a NASCAR official out of the way. The ban that was handed down on Tuesday is based on NASCAR's behavioral rules, and it might, in theory at least, include most of Wallace's conduct in Las Vegas. However, Steve O'Donnell, the executive in charge of competition and racing operations, stated that the penalties were not for the fracas that occurred a few moments later, but rather for Wallace's reckless and planned retribution against Larson. When we look at how that incident occurred in our minds, it was truly a risky conduct that we thought was purposeful and put other competitors in danger," O'Donnell said on Sirius XM NASCAR radio. When we look at how that incident occurred in our minds, it was really a dangerous act. Wallace is the first Cup Series driver to be suspended for an on-track incident since Matt Kenseth was parked for two races in 2015 for an incident at Martinsville. Wallace's suspension for this Sunday's race at Homestead Miami Speedway is a rare step. Wallace is the first driver in the Cup Series to be suspended for an on-track incident. Any thoughts? Comment to let us also know. John Hunter Nemechek will drive for 2311 Racing instead of Bubba Wallace in this weekend's race because the team's owners, Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan, have decided not to appeal the punishment. In a statement, the team said 2311 is aligned with NASCAR on the one-race suspension issued to Bubba and we understand the need for the series to take a clear stand on the incidents that took place at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. 2311 is aligned with NASCAR on the one-race suspension issued to Bubba, and we understand the need for the series to take a clear stand on the incidents that took Bubba's actions do not align with the principles that guide our group or our collaborators," you said. We had a conversation with Bubba, and we let him know that we are not happy with the way he handled the problem. This season, Bubba has made significant advancements, and this experience is an opportunity for him to enhance his knowledge and develop his skills as a NASCAR racer. If you're finding the video interesting, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It will only take a second. On lap 94 of the Cup race in Las Vegas, a collision occurred between Larson, who had been ousted from the playoffs the previous week, and Wallace, who had not qualified to compete for the Cup title. When Larson tried to throw a pass that went three different ways, Kevin Harvick, who was in the middle of the group, dropped out. Larson began to slide up the track in the direction of Wallace, but Wallace did not let up on the gas to give Larson any space. After that, Larson rammed Wallace's Toyota into the wall with all his might. Wallace had led 29 laps in a car that he believed was capable of winning, and he responded by following Larson's car down to the apron where he appeared to purposefully catch him in the rear corner as revenge. Wallace had led 29 laps in a car that he believed was capable of winning. This caused Larson to spin out of control and into the path of a title candidate named Christopher Bell, who is part of the Toyota team along with Wallace. Due to the accident, Bell was eliminated from the race and finished eight out of the eight drivers competing in the playoffs. In the meantime, Wallace got out of his vehicle and began walking on the track in the direction of Larson. 
Wallace was already yelling at Larson when he arrived, and as soon as he did, he started pushing the other driver, who was considerably smaller. Larson attempted to get away from Wallace by turning away from him and lifting his arms many times to block Wallace's shoves, but Wallace managed to get off multiple shots until a NASCAR safety staffer intervened and separated the two. In a statement on social media that he labeled reflection and published on Monday evening, Wallace issued an apology for my conduct. He extended his apologies not just to NASCAR and its followers, but also to Bell, Joe Gibbs Racing and Toyota, saying that he had placed them in a predicament in the playoffs that they do not deserve. His post did not acknowledge that he was responsible for wrecking Larson. Wallace had claimed that his steering broke when he struck the wall, nor did it apologize to Larson in particular for his loss of the championship. Wallace remarked, I compete with enormous passion, and with passion comes irritation at times. I compete with immense emotion. After giving it some thought, I realized that I could have done a better job of representing our partners and the underlying principles of our team by not allowing my anger to follow me outside of the automobile. You only get one shot at life, and I want to make the most of this opportunity. Take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. This season, Wallace, who is the only black driver competing at the top level of NASCAR, has demonstrated remarkable improvement despite heavy scrutiny. The event has been harshly criticized by several of his fellow drivers, who, in light of recent injuries, have demanded that NASCAR make adjustments to the safety features of the new next-gen car. Joey Logano, who won first place on Sunday and was the first driver to clinch his spot in the championship-deciding race on Sunday night, commented that Wallace's retaliation is not okay. Wallace is the driver who won first place on Sunday and was the first driver to clinch his spot in the championship-deciding race. On Sirius XM NASCAR Radio, Logano indicated that if Larson had been spun into the infield, the situation would have been slightly improved. On the other hand, it is unacceptable to book the right rear of another person in the dongling. I don't think anyone has any concept of how catastrophic the situation could have been. I don't believe anyone has any idea. Because of it, it looked like there was a chance that Kyle Larson's career may come to an end. In my opinion, that was the factor that needed to be considered carefully, or the rest of his life. According to Logano, it was a stroke of good luck for Larson that the ball ricocheted off of Bell rather than striking the wall directly. It's possible that Larson nailed that object square in the side with his flush shot. After that, the game was finished. That won't fly in the radar here. You can't do it, Logano added. I don't like it when people use cards as weapons. If you're really that angry, all you have to do is go outside and fight him. After a wheel fell off during the Las Vegas race, NASCAR announced that the crew chief for Kyle Busch's car, Ben Bishor, along with two pit crew members have been suspended for the next four races. This suspension comes as a result of the incident. So guys, that's all for today's videos. What do you think about the current situation? And tell us in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and then click the subscribe button so that you will be notified immediately whenever an additional update is uploaded.